because my nails um the grime under my my nails gets i don't know it's stuck and uh it's really hard to remove i don't know why it's not focusing um i already cleaned these nails this one needs a little bit more and maybe this one on the corner right there so what i like to do is mix a little bit of baking soda and a little bit of hand soap into a little dish and i make a little paste out of it and scrub my nails top and bottom not so much at the top um, mainly under the nails to and then i let it sit for maybe like a minute or so this for me works a lot better than just soaking my nails in um, warm water although i do that sometimes it doesn't always soften up the grime i don't know if for me it gets really almost you see that it becomes almost one with my nail it gets really embedded and so anyways i am right now in the middle of cleaning my nails like this is a good example it really helps clean all that gunk like notice the difference between this nail my thumbs for some reason and my index finger always get really just nasty under the nail and <laughs> so gross um don't pay attention to this nail this nail has a lot of splitting so there's been layers of glue <laughs> put onto this as the nail has been growing out and then now it's sealed in some of the polish <laughs> within the splitting so that's the problem with that nail anyways um so i thought i would just quickly share that with you guys i do put this brush under running water and then i don't put a lot of water in this because i do want the paste to be pretty thick um but i do put it under running water just to get it a little a little soapy and this works so much better than soapy water for me to clean all that grime out another thing that i like to do while i'm cleaning my nails i lay my nails down against the napkin here because i'm putting the paste and water it does soften up the nail so instead of going in with a tool for instance like this up going up this way my nail's soft so it's only going to possibly cause a little tear or a little break going this way um, supports my nail and that way as i'm um, i'm scrubbing it with this tool it's not causing possibly a tear i've i've maybe torn the ends here because my nail's soft while I'm doing it. So now I just do it this way and scrub away very, very gently though. And I use this tool from Revlon and this end here is not very sharp. You can see that. I don't use sharp tools because that removes layers of the nail and it causes more damaging. So I just thought I would, I would mention that. I do it facing down. I had to cut this little a-hole down, not cut it, I file it. I stopped cutting my nails um, maybe last year, and I now only file my nails with a oh, crud, hold on. And this is what I use, and I just washed my, my nail file from OPI. It's a crystal nail file, and I get it. I get it uh, on Amazon. Ava. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When I get bored, I play tennis. When you get bored, you play tennis. Okay. But we're talking about the weather right now. So tell me about the weather. How it's been the last few days. Okay. Uh, since it's been... I'm talking years. I want to say at least four years since I've done a manicure at home on YouTube. I think I'm going to do an updated one because I no longer use a lot of the things that I mentioned in that video. I stopped doing quite a few things actually and then added a few things. So one of the biggest difference for me is oiling my nails constantly. I have oil all over my house, guys. And I constantly refill this little guy. I got this one at Five Below. It came with a fragranced oil, which I don't think is very good. Doesn't absorb very well. Um, good sign of not a very good oil. I just do a mixture of vitamin E and jojoba. 100% jojoba. I actually have this guy, which I got at Sprouts. 
Um, you can also order them online on Amazon or whatever, and I just do a half and half mix. I have these everywhere. I have a little dropper next to my sink in the restroom, so every time I wash my hands, I use that as my moisturizer for my hands. And not only have I noticed a difference on my hands, but also my nails. Um, I have to be careful because, not careful, but I always put moisturizer on my hands every time I wash them because I have eczema. I have, you see right here, my, this finger for right now is struggling a little bit. And I think for the most part, everything, every other finger has been doing okay. Um, so I use the Eucerin Eczema Relief because that helps my eczema out a lot. It's a lifesaver. But I am constantly, the oil, the, the little dropper with the vitamin E and jojoba mixture, I have it next to my sink. So I use that as my hand um, moisturizer. So every time I wash my hands, I use that. And then I have oil all over my house. This one, for instance, is a little bottle from Five Below. The oil that was in this was not very good, didn't absorb very well really good sign of not a very good oil but what I have in here as I've used it up I've just done a half and half of jojoba and just keep refilling it um, with these guys.